the ingenuity of ordinary people dealing with adverse institutions is pretty amazing. Uh, in fact, you know, I in the book I catalog a variety of different practices that students uh, resort to, right? Or given a bribe is uncomfortable, right? So people just find ways to avoid discomfort and uh, but still do it, right? So one of the things that people do, for instance, is uh, they get together. So students get together um, and um, chip in for a present for uh, the faculty member. And the idea here, so they do so before the exam to sort of ensure that the professor is in a good mood and that, you know, everybody gets a decent grade. But uh, what was funny to me was that they then, did, uh, you know, pick one student or a couple of students who would deliver the gift. And this is like a job that nobody wants to do, right, because it's uncomfortable, you know. So um, they devise all sorts of schemes to figure out who this person is going to be. And then uh, this person or a couple of people go together and bring a, what they call a package, a kit, uh, which has, you know, inevitably some candy uh, and an envelope, of course. Uh, to, to the professor. Yet others uh, go through intermediaries. Um, the practice of having kind of organizational intermediaries or somebody who go who is a go between, you know, between the um, client and the provider is very common. So at universities, these people tend to be secretaries or lab assistants or grad students. Um, in the hospitals, uh, a lot of them are um, nurses or uh, low-level administrators, and these people you need to go to and ask, you know, how do I solve this problem that I have? And the problem may be that I have not showed up for any of the lectures, but I would like an A in this class, right? And uh, it's it was really interesting just how business-like this kind of interactions are, right? So there is this talk, right? Like, you know exactly what to say, and you find this out by talking to others within the same organization, right? So before I need to, you know, face a professor in an exam that I don't know anything, you know, in a subject that I don't know anything about, I seek out upperclassmen or I go online and look on discussion forums um, and I find out exactly who I need to go to and exactly what I need to say. So um, these exchanges are extremely businesslike. So students would go to a lab assistant and say, listen, you know, here's an issue. I would like an A. Without further ado, without many more questions, the lab assistant says 500, right? Or whatever the going tariff is. And uh, the next thing you do is you bring the money, and the next thing you know, you get the name. So I was extremely surprised just how um, sort of institutionalized and normalized <laughs> this kind of exchanges really are. 